Hey everybody, Chris the Cop here. Welcome back. Thanks for watching and definitely thank you for all your support. All right, we're doing something a little different that we haven't done before and that's a product review. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and anyone else that may be possibly watching this product review. First of all, I have never done a product review. Quite frankly, no one has ever asked me to do a product review. However, Ewin Racing asked me if I would be willing to take a look at one of their gaming desks. And I said, absolutely. I did not know what that entailed, but they sent me their Ewin 2.0 edition RGB gaming desk and it has a smart wireless charger with it. Um, I was like, all right, let's take a look at it. And they actually sent it to me. Now, this is not a paid advertisement. Yes, I did receive the desk uh, at, for review and to try out. I guess I get to keep it. So um, if that's the case, it will be added to my setup here that I have. Now, up front, I'm a Secret Labs kind of person. I have their desks, their chair, um, and I love it. However, Ewin Racing has really made me rethink my loyalties. And I will say that I am very, very impressed with their desk. I love their RGB. And um, there's not a lot to their desk when it comes to complication. I was able to put this desk together by myself, which I recorded. And I got to say, it's pretty good. So let's jump into this and... You'll get to see me putting this desk together. You'll get to see my some of the video of it all put together with the RGB. And I'm going to be quite honest with you. When the critique that I gave it was good and bad because I think there are some improvements that the that the, you know Ewin Racing can make to this desk. So let's jump into this. We're going to check out the pieces here and see uh, how sturdy and well put together we uh, get this desk. White gloves. Got all our boats, bolts, Allen wrench. Package really nice. for the RGB. So, looking at here, pretty simple to put together. We have all our wires there for our RGB. So we're gonna go ahead and look at our instructions, which are over here. <clears throat> Got everything out. Step two, use screws to fix the crossbars to the legs. All right, we're gonna do that first.
three is use the feet to screw into the leg legs. Little um, plastic, not really, I don't know, um, not, not a whole lot of heavy dutiness there. These could, I think, crack over time with, you know, with weight, but unsure. Step four, connect the connector to the fitting. So, we just finished that. Step four, connecting the connector to the fitting. Okay. Oh, the crossbar, we forgot the crossbar. Use the screws to fix the crossbar. So it should one crossbar, then we should put the feet last. So we'll do the crossbar next. That was my bad. And step five, use the screws to fix the cup holder, headphone holder with the desktop. And that's what that was. Cool. All right. Okay, so we have everything all set up. We put it in the room that it's going to be in. I'll be utilizing this for my laptop. And here's one of the cables. It's connected to our USB. I don't think this is a charger that we put anything on. I just think this is what you can charge because there's our USB. So we're gonna go ahead and plug it into our laptop. That's what their instructions say. Now we're gonna come along and we have another USB cable that's connected to a box underneath. I'm gonna plug that one in. There we go. Our RGB lights went on for a brief second on the side. And now I'm gonna plug in the audio cable. And I can tell that our RGB is now on. There it is. Oh, it was on. You guys saw that for a minute. There it goes. Pretty awesome lighting, pretty bright. Okay. Now that's the RGB lighting, nothing really to the front. I had to put a bunch of stuff on the floor to get this into my gaming room. So it's pretty good on the side. So obviously we could run these cables through this port here for a cleaner look. I'm really about having a cleaner look. And that's it, it has that carbon fiber look. It's just a, there's no carbon fiber to this, it has that nice clean look like it but it's uh pretty neat so let's talk about this and i don't know if we could change the lighting so we're going to try that out so let's stand by as i mentioned before one of the problems is here's the front of the desk and here's the charger i like would like to have my charger here because i want to be able to monitor my phone and if it's way back here won't be able to do that it's still nice having a charging but it's the whole length of the desk one of the things I like about the desk is the, I should say the width of it, because it can easily take periphery. So I can add all of my attachments with no problem. Microphone, camera stands, all that type of stuff that other desks seem to have a problem with. So this is the nice part. It goes all the way around and that's what I like about it. And once again, it just, the RGB doesn't interfere with it. The RGB is just great on this. It's like just that one last thing to make your RGB setup awesome. All right, let's talk about the good and the bad about this Ewin desk. So the good part, it is wickedly easy to assemble. I mean, wickedly easy. Uh, you saw in the video, it was literally three bolts on the left side, three bolts on the right side, two bolts on each side to put the, the, the rail and a couple of hookups on the wiring and you were good to go. 
Now, the one thing I will say is that there are no instructions except that cardboard one that I was showing you. So initially, I did not know how to hook up the RGB as well as the uh, smart charging system because they were just USB connections. And I was like, well, do I have to get those little USB boxes or is there, you know, do I need to buy one of those um, power strips that have the USB? So I had to actually go to their website and take a look and um, and it says that you plug it into either your PC or your laptop, which I did and that got us our lighting. Now, the other part though, that um, the, the lighting is fantastic. I mean, it's bright as bright can be. Now, I have the Secret Labs desk that I bought, which is about uh, a couple hundred dollars more than the Ewin desk. But the RGB lighting on the Secret Labs cannot compare to Ewins. They have a, a strip that you get that you have to hook up um, on the outside of the desk. And the problem is, is that as soon as you start putting stands that connect to the desk, the RGB on the Secret Labs doesn't work. Here, it works fine. I, as if I already have the idea of where I'm gonna be putting my stands for my camera, my lighting and all that type of stuff, and the RGB will not get in the way like it does on Secret Labs. So that is a plus there. Now the downside to the RGB is, and I will do a rebuttal video if I have to, but there is no way to control it. Now, according to Ewin's website, I should be able to control the RGB. I cannot. Now, I did plug it in and I put on Pandora and I played some music. It seemed like the RGB was going to the music, but I'm not sure. But if you want a solid color, if you like, I, I like having all my RGB one color and I switch out my colors depending on the moods that I'm in. Well, I can't do that with the desk yet. I reached out to Ewin and we'll see what they do. And if uh, there is uh, something um, that I need to do on my end, download something, then I definitely will add that down below in the comments and pin it so everyone can see. Now, I like the, the top of the desk. It definitely doubles as a mouse pad, okay? Um, it ha I, I think it's carbon fiber or some soap, but it's so smooth and it's just very nice. On top of it, I put my drink on top of it um, and I don't feel like I have to have a cup holder. I, I feel like the desk is sturdy enough for that. The desk is like solid. I'm shaking it right now. And um, I did put the uh, headphone holder there. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it there because I have a desk headphone stand, so I might just utilize that to keep that sleek look. But this is a very well-built desk. I had some reservations about the um, the bottom balancers that would allow you to make sure that it's a uh, even, um, but it seems to be okay, especially I have a, a, a solid wood floor, so uh, it, it is holding up there. Now, another complaint I have are the actual cables. They are not long enough. Now, luckily for me, I have USB extensions um, that I bought off of Amazon, and I was able to utilize those. That is my critique on the cables because dependent on where you like to have your your PC. Now, I'm gonna be utilizing this for my uh, laptop and um, and I'm gonna be hooking up all my peripheral to there. So I'll have an external monitor and I'll have the laptop there with a the keyboard. However, and then I don't have to worry about that, but if you are a PC person, um, you're not gonna be able to mount every, you're gonna to have to either put the PC in the middle or buy USB extension. So that is a complaint that they need to fix that um, give you longer cables. And um, the other part is a cable management system. There should be some type of cable management system underneath the desk. So that way I could put my power strip there because we, we all have power strips. I mean, everybody who is streaming has a ton of different things that are powered up either through our PCs or through power strips. I mean, I have two power strips on my, my gaming and streaming PCs. So there has to be something underneath the desk because we all like that clean look. I know I like that clean look. I like to zip tie all of my uh, periphery to that. So there is nothing there to give us that. So you would have to actually come up with your own way of doing that. Now you do have that bar going across and I could actually use some longer zip ties to put stuff on that bar. And that's probably what I'm gonna do when I'm all said and done. Um, so that is another critique on that.
overall oh and let me get back to this part the charger yes it does work so you can actually plug in the usb and extend that out or you could put your phone that charges you know via that smart charger so my iphone was able to start charging putting it on there now that's the other complaint too far away i would like to see that thing up close right here because i want to be able to look at my phone while i'm playing games i want to be able to look down to see if anyone's texting or calling me so that is just too far away now as far as the cable management off to the left side um that's okay uh you can utilize that i probably not going to utilize that because i don't like wires popping out of my desk i would rather the wires coming from underneath or uh, right into right in the center but those are my personal pet peeves when it comes to that so that's that um beyond that the lighting is beautiful it's nice and bright i'm enjoying it and uh yeah so we're gonna uh we're gonna hook up some more stuff to this and uh we're gonna we're gonna customize it as far as like the setup that i like to have all right all right ladies and gentlemen that is it for this product critique it's our first one so my overall impressions I think Ewin Racing has a very good product. Number one, once again, it was easy to put together. Um, it was lightweight. I was able to have my daughter help me move it into the room. Um, loving the, the, the surface of it. I just think with a couple of few tweaks, they can be a very good competitor to some of the big dollar desks that some streamers get. And we don't need to spend a lot of money to have something nice. And Ewin racing is providing that product for us i definitely will take a look at their other products i would say this if you're looking for a good gaming desk that has a small footprint but you want some quality something that's easy to put together something that you could take apart if you move this is definitely the desk for you i like it i'm definitely going to be keeping ewin racing in the back of my mind when i look for future products speaking of they have allowed me to have my own code that if you're looking at eWin Racing products, you can get a discount. So there's going to be a link in the description below and use the promo code CTC. That will get you 20% off of their products. That is huge. I wish that I would have had something like that when I bought some of the other stuff that is here that helps me stream. So anyways, hit, click the link below if you're interested. 20% off utilizing CTC. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Thank you very much for your support and uh, leave your comments down below. Once again, if you're new to this channel, welcome and thank you. And don't forget, we have a lot of different information in the description as far as our socials, Discord links, and um, yeah, pretty much all of that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, take care of yourself. Take care of one another. We can make the world a better place by just helping one person at a time. That could be with a simple smile or a nice comment. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, this is Chris DeCop reminding all of you, peace.